Hello everyone and welcome back to Autonauts. This is Otaku Showboat. Today is our seventh episode. Oh boy, already been a week playing through the Autonauts playthrough here on our lovely little map. If you have been enjoying the series so far, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series higher up in search results. You can also do all the social stuff by following the links in the description below this video, including joining my Discord server. Last time, we upgraded our robots to Mark 1. We have automated our production of Mark 1 robots, and we are producing a bit of a collection of these Mark 1 robots at this point in time. Uh, we also have a bit of a collection of uh, storage crates now uh, that are being built as well as a number of our beautiful little workbenches basic bot workbenches that we are absolutely going to be using and utilizing going forward uh, we're going to need like six Six. Two more. Two more, at least. And we will have to set up all of the uh, beautiful things around that uh, thingy. There, there, there. Uh, of course, I am standing where I need to place a thingy. All right. You have signed your death warrant. Give me a stick. No, don't give me a stick. Uh, I need a spade. Give me a spade. Spade it. It shall die this day. You shall die. Goodbye. Because I need that there. Huh. This guy... Right. So I'm now limited because this guy is a Mark 1 bot, or a Mark 0 bot, and he travels a lot slower than the other robots. So we have to bear this in mind that our Mark 1 body guy, he's a little bit on the slow side. Or, yes, our Mark 1 body guy is on the slow side. What about our Mark 1 head guy? Where is Mark 1 head? Head's Mark 1. Oh. Aha, so we are now running low on all of the resources probably be beca probably because i sort of used a whole bunch of stuff all at once but we can see part of our problem here is that we are lacking on our tree chopping ability so tree chopper mark one go 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 do the thing go grab yourself an axe And go chop yourself a tree. And you will do this in a large area. A rather large area. This area, in fact. In uh, this approximate area. Right around here. And you will do this forever. You will, until your hands are empty, do this. And always do it first. So, go ahead and uh, go grab your axe. While I just dump the axe that I have now. Now, chances are, that guy's going to be really efficient. 
really efficient at chopping down all of these trees. And then we're going to run into an issue where we won't have enough dudes picking up stuff and doing all of that beautiful thing. Fill that with seeds. Hey, we did a tech. Cool. Which reminds me. Oh, hey, I've unlocked a new level of technology. Level 2 of tech has been unlocked, and this is all, again, very, very useful stuff. Very useful stuff. We get access to Mark II robot heads and bodies and drives. So we get Mark II bots, as well as better upgrades. Better upgrades and Mark II's, so... Oh, that's going to be absolutely glorious. Uh, the issue is that these are going to require parts that we can't make if we just have this tech. So we're going to need to pick up a lot more techs, sadly, to uh, actually get our Mark II bots. We can't just pick up that tech and magically be done with things. And note that the costs are significantly higher than the costs here. Just all these beautiful things to note. We are going to be picking up our farming technology next. Head down and uh, get that. Yes, our beautiful farming technology. I need a robot. You will do. You are going to go and pick up two stones. And you are going to deposit those stones and make crude blades. You will also, I think I have enough space for this, you will take this blade and deposit it in there and do that forever. Find the blade, move to thing, pick it up, move to thing, and do that, and you will do that forever. You are crude blades. Now, what is it I have unlocked here? The crude backpack upgrade. This applies to me and me alone, not to any of my robots. So this is just an upgrade for me if I want to use it in one of my upgrade slots, and I don't really feel the need to do that right now at this point in time. So what I'm going to do next is program one of my Mark One bots. You are going to be Mallets. Yes, click record to edit. What do we need for mallets? A log and a pole. Okay. You're going to come here. You're going to pick up a log and deposit it. We can be more efficient with this, though. You can pick up a pole. We sort of need to have a pole. This is one of the other problems with this is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, completely dependent upon you actually having these things in these. Please bring me poles, Mr. Poles 1. Alright, take from pole storage, then hit Q to store hold held item. This will be important because what we're actually going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to move to the pallet, take from pole storage one, stow it, move to the log storage, take the log, move and then add, and then we're actually going to uh, just move over here for now. And then we're going to just cycle the held item and place it here. Uh, 
then, with seven kilobytes free, we're going to take this mallet and store it, and we will do that forever. And that is that, with one kilobyte free. So it will move to the pallet to pick up a pole when there is a pole for it to pick up. It stows it because it has a place to stow. It will pick up a log, head on over to our mallets, add it, cycle, and then add the thing that's in his backpack, make it. It'll go over, it'll pick it up, and it'll put it into the beautiful storage until that storage is full, and then it won't make any more. Huzzah! Glorious. Love it that I can now do all of this in one step without needing additional robots. One more. But this one's going to require poles again. So... It's probably about that time to uh, actually do an additional thingy for poles. But as you can see here, our dude was very efficient at cutting down all of these trees. Very efficient at cutting down all of these trees. Incredibly efficient at cutting down all of these trees. And we're still using up all of our beautiful logs. In fact, we're not picking up all of our logs as quickly as we possibly can. So that's what this Mark 1 bot is going to be. So Mark 1 Log Collector. You are going to go pick up logs and store them. That's all you're going to do. You're going to pick it up in the maximum area of uh, this forever. That's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, you are a candidate for giving shoes to so that you move faster. So we have brain upgrades, sensor upgrades, which increases the size of the uh, boxes that they can search in. We also have the power upgrade to hold more in its hand. Now, Bear in mind that you can only have one item at a time in each of the upgrade slots. You can't, like, stack these, which is unfortunate. So you can choose basically any, like, three, I think it's three slots or two slots that these guys have. You can mix, you have to mix and match. You can't do, uh, everything. Alright, how are we doing on these? Good. Excuse me. Who's a blocking? A berry. That bush is coming back to haunt me. That stupid bush. Pick up. Drop. Stupid bush. Alright. Uh, efficiency and backpack. Guess what our uh, mission is for now. We have a new mission. We get to fill these boxes of 10 items each. Oh joy, oh bliss. Uh, I can see that we are definitely clearing a lot of these logs a lot faster. Uh, our robots. Uh, with our two diggers, it looks like we do have enough. Maybe... No, we might want more diggers. We might we might want more digging to happen in here. We might want more digging to happen. But uh, we definitely have more logs than before. Absolutely have more logs. Now, if we start massively accruing on logs, then we know that we don't have enough choppers for... Uh, making those logs into planks and then planks into poles. We know that that will be the case. So, 
I am actually going to preemptively add a uh, thingy here and a thingy here. We're going to use Mark 1 bots for this. Uh, so you will be Mark 1 planks. Uh, you're going to pick up a log, chop it into planks. And you are going to take the planks and store them in plank storage. Uh, until hands empty. Uh, twice. Forever. Go. Do the thing, process my logs into additional planks. And then when I, if I see that I'm starting to build up planks a lot faster than I am poles, which I already know that I will be, uh, it will be time to do Mark 1 poles. So you are going to come here, pick up a plank. Excuse me. Take from plank. Go over here. I did left click and it just didn't take the plank out. Chop the thing. I suppose something that you could do is, uh... You could actually take... Two? until hands empty and then pick up four times now it has slots for four so that won't matter and then you can go over here move to the pallet deposit until hands empty and do that forever so this is actually going to be better than before because now we're actually taking two planks at a time and processing two planks into four poles and that saves a lot on travel distance So go find, move, pick up, find, move, pick up, find, move, pick up, find, move, pick up, move to pole storage. And then add all four to pole storage before going over picking these up and continuing on with its merry day. Yay, success. A successful program of a Mark I to make additional poles. Significantly better than our Mark II. Why are there so many planks? Dude. Uh, what? That might have been from me teaching. Oh. That's a bug. I'm gonna...
Uh huh. It says it picked it up twice, but it didn't. That's an issue. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say until hands are full and let it break out if there's no... Oh, you know what I did? <sighs> That's what I did. Times two. That's what I did. That was wrong. See? Bug fixing of my own making. Bugs of my own making. All of that was of my own making. Never mind me. Now it should pick up both. Yep. There it goes. About frickin' time. Alright, so we've increased our forestry. Now let's actually do what I really wanted to do today, which is increase my wove production. I uh, need to actually grab one of these crude blades. Uh, take it over to here, so we can actually start researching. And I need another Mark 1 bot. You are going to be Mark 1 feeder berries. Uh, you're going to go grab berries and feed the colonists. Uh, you are, of course, going to take enough to fill your hands. I'm not going to worry about the backpack slot this time. Uh, and then until your hands are empty, feed all my babies in the area. Do that forever. Feed my babies. Feed the babies. Now, I have crude workbenches. And I now have a good workbench. This bot assembly unit, can I do anything to you? No. You are fine just the way that you are. Good workbenches are now available. Get rid of all of this. As are barrels and silos, I'm not going to worry about making barrels and silos at the moment because I do not need them at all. I do not need barrels and silos quite yet. I'll worry about making them when I need them. But what I do need are these uh, good workbenches next. Uh, what is the research we're working on? The farming tools. Okay, good to know. Let's have a Mark 1 bot come over to collect some wove. You're going to come down, and then you're going to go up there uh, until your hands are full. And until hands empty. Always tend to start with that. And go. Do my bidding. Go and do my bidding. I also need to make sure that I program these robots to build all of these things, so let's go ahead and start that process. Two poles, two tree seeds. Okay, you are... going to be a light pain. 
a little bit of pain. Just because you have to actually deposit this. Now, if I had a backpack, oh, that... That would actually be best. If I could give this guy a backpack. Because then I could store the two things. That would make this a fair bit easier. Because as it stands, as you can see, as you can see, this is not ideal. This is not ideal, so I can't actually store as well, and I have to do this until this box is full, and then do that forever. Like, that's... that's not ideal. But you know what? If we stop this bot, and we give him a better brain, by control right-clicking... Well, now you've got six kilobytes free, so now you could go and do the thing and store it. So you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go through a cycle. You are bot brains. I'm going to let you go through a cycle. As inefficient as it is, because you could save on travel time by doing this this way. Yes, has two. But yeah, if he, if he had a backpack, it would make this a little bit easier. But I mean, as long as it works, as long as it works, I don't think I really care so much. So how's this going? 85 of 100 already, oh boy. Yeah, with 10 buddies here giving us lots of stuff, uh, it's really good, but we are declining on the uh, berries, so we need to make sure that uh, we got lots and lots and lots of berries. Stop! <sighs> you're not going to, uh, you're going to, like, continue your new thing, but what I need you to do is I need you to pick that up and store it. And I need you to do that here. Now, I don't need that until storage full anymore. I don't actually need that anymore. But I'm going to leave it there anyway, and now he's good to go. We have unlocked farming tools. Crude shears, crude flail, hoe, and scythe. That is four items that are built. Yes, I know I have. I know I have these that are built on these and these. So, good workbenches. I have two of these now. What is new of you? I just want to uh, explore what is new of these. Ah, uh, these three, so I need three more crude workbenches, oh boy. How about the good workbenches, and how many of those good workbenches will I need now? Ah, so this is where I make signs. <laughs> signs are good. Signs are great. Excellent. Magnificent, even. You can do interesting things with signs. Do I really have a...
purpose to signs right now? Not really. Signs are great if you have things that are done in a location and then need to move to a new location. Things like digging up turf to turn it into soil is a great way of using signs. You can have a robot attached to the signs area to dig up the turf into soil as well as have another one picking up the turf and depositing it into storage or incineration. But, uh, and then there's also like shenaniganly type things with having charging bots assigned to an area that a robot is like holding a sign and running around moving with the sign. Uh, and then any charging bots assigned to the area of the sign will charge anything that falls within that moving area. <laughs> it's, it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. Scoop sand. That'll come in handy later, as will shears. So, as of right now, we don't really have much of a use for this. Quite yet. Quite yet. We're going to be worrying about things like shears once we have to clothe our colonists. For now, we are not clothing our colonists. Not quite yet. So, it's been about half an hour, folks. With that, uh, I think I would like to... Well, I don't think I would. I would absolutely like to thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been Otaku Showboat. I need to uh, pick up a new research. Let's pick up that one. Just add a berry. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that uh, you can help make this series appear higher up in search results. You can, of course, do all of the other social stuff in the links below this video. Do all the follows, join the Discord, and all of that good stuff. And, of course, I will see you all on the next one where we are going to continue to make our upgrades, automate our upgrades, and uh, start worrying about getting these guys some shelter maybe as we uh do get both of those tacks and we can see here we need a new planter we need to continue optimizing our forestry here so all of that and more on our next episode i hope to see you all then